All right, I'd like to go through a calculation with you here. I've seen some of you um, not quite doing this right on your on your laboratory sheet, and we'll make sure you know how to do this. So let's say I have light that has a wavelength of 600 nanometers. Uh, that's, that's like orange light, orange or maybe a little bit yellow. And I want to know what the frequency of this light, this light photon is, or this light wave is. So I'm going to use the equation, the speed of light is going to be the frequency times the wavelength. This is my wavelength. So to find the frequency, I'm going to need to divide both sides of this equation by the wavelength. And I get the speed of light over the wavelength is equal to the frequency. Simple enough. So we know the speed of light in a vacuum. That's 3.0 times 10 to the 8 meter for every second. And then I know my wavelength, that's 600 nanometers. But I can't, I can't just pop this in here because nanometer doesn't talk to meter. So there's a conversion that I have to do. So I'm going to need to convert this nanometer into a meter, or I could convert this meter here into a nanometer. I'm just going to choose to do it this way. I'm just going to make this nanometer uh, a meter. So i got to remember my, my conversion chart that we used to do. So I'm going to have the meter unit here. And then we have a deci, a centi, a milli, a double dash, a micro, and then a double dash and a nano. So this 600, that's sitting all the way down here in the nano position. I'm going to stick a decimal right there. And to go to meter, I'm going to have to move 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 spaces in this direction. And so that means I'm going to need to move this decimal nine spaces in this direction. All right, so I'm just going to draw this a little bit bigger here so I can keep track of it. Nine spaces this direction. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's where the decimal ends up. And in these empty spaces, I'm going to put zeros. Let me count how many there are. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I've converted my nanometer, 600 nanometers, to point zero, 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 six meters. That's what's going to go on the denominator here. Okay, so it's zero point, and then what? Six zeros. One, two, three four, five, six, six meters. Well, I can do 600, but, you know, there we go. Now, this meter cancels this meter, and my unit is uh, inverse second. That's the same thing as a hertz. So I've got, you know, the correct frequency unit. Now I need to do the calculation. So to do the calculation, I'm going to take my uh, cell phone calculator, I'm going to turn it this way, and then a bunch of scientific functions show up. I do this so I can do this uh, scientific notation. I can do calculations with that. So to do 3 times 10 to the 8th, I'm going to push 3 EE e, 8. And, and when, I, when I push those buttons in my head, I say 3 times 10 to the power of uh, 8. Let's hit equal. And there it is, right? I have 3 times 10 to the 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Sure. And I'm going to divide this by point six zeros and then a six so let's see divided by point one two three four five six and then a six holy cow that's a big number look at that oh my goodness how many zeros is that one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen so it's going to be five times ten to the fourteen hertz that's a lot of waving every second. Holy cow, you're wiggling. How many times is that? Let's see, that's thousands. That's million. That's billion. This is the trillion space. So that's going to be 500 trillion times every second a light wave wiggles. Try to do that with your fingers. Yeah, it's not going to happen. I can't wiggle my fingers that fast. It's an amazingly fast frequency. And those are the types of very incredibly large frequencies that you're, that, you know, you're going to get when you calculate the frequency for, for, um, for light waves.